Uh, I wanted to do a new type of video that I'm kind of testing out and seeing if it catches wind, seeing if any patrons want more of this. So this one's going to be free, but uh, if you guys like this, if you want more of this, it's probably going to be in the trifecta uh, section, category, whatever you call it. Um, so basically, I'm going to take a song and kind of break down a section of it and see how I came up with that arrangement. So for banjo, uh, we're going to be doing the Beatles, Hey Jude. Um, so we're going to go first through the chords, and then I'll talk about the melody, and then how we can fit those two things together. So a lot of the times, uh, it's about, you know, finding the progression. Sometimes you generally already know it. Um, and then filling the space to make room for melody, as well as you know, comping a little bit. So here are the chords. Hey, G. Don't make it. D. D, whichever version of D we want. And then we have a D7. Turns a sad song and make it G. Here's the C. Remember to letter into your D. Then you can D to make it better. Back to G. So those are the chords. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll have two bars on one, one bar with one. Most of the time, these chords go for two bars. Let's cover the melody. Open strings. I'm going up to five here. So I can hit that note. And we'll scroll down. Up to seven. Seven, five, pull off. Seven, eight, hammer. Open string, you're back in the open string area. So, uh, chords themselves might show up you know, maybe not on beat one, maybe they show up on beat two. You wanna make room for both, so it might be kind of a handing off between the melody note and then the chord that you're on. Uh, let's see how we can fit those together. So first two measures are G, and then I have a melody note that's ending on two. That's gonna be part of the D chord, so you wanna use a finger that is familiar in that D shape. Comping. Melody. Index on the two. Here we go. Up to the so five. Still kind of on a, a D right now, but we have to get that note and this note both on downbeats. So that's why I'm up here and not and using a drone string. Drone string you generally only do on upbeats. So starting on five. So in that time, I didn't get a G chord until, you know, the last beat of that measure. But you can in imply a lot. Because thankfully for us, we have uh, these chords lasting for two bars. So if you don't get it on the first measure, maybe you get it on the next measure. So on nine, moving to a C, chord drop on B2, not you know, totally out of the ordinary. Leap up to the inverted C first inversion. So that was this C to this C. Index is gonna be the priority here. Open strings, travel back. Moving down to measure 13 here. So that's kind of how that first verse breaks down. You want to make room for all of those offbeat melody notes, but you can also take some liberties if you want to. The chords come anytime you have a space, right? So in this instance, we had 
Uh, no chords here because we already established G in the measure prior. So I don't need to hammer G home right here. But we definitely wanted to get that D out of the way. Because we have some odd melody moments for this measure. And yeah, that's the, that's the meat and potatoes of it. If you like this video and you want to see more, just leave a comment saying, that was awesome, do more. And maybe I will. Thanks, guys.